<laughs> it's a uh, you ever get one of those neighbor dogs that just barks non-stop driver man driver man mad I tell you what you know I'm trying to be civil talk to him and he's been cool about it and everything like that they got a bark collar but makes me want to get out my uh the pew pew and just take care of the problem that's not right I wouldn't want someone to do that to my dog but whew, it's eating on my soul anyways that's what we got going on stupid duty right now has a check engine light on in it and I'm not sure why that is so we're going to uh All right, Stupid Duty has a check engine on it right now. So, a check engine. The Stupid Duty has a check engine light on it right now. So, I'm gonna check out with the scanner here to see what's going on with it. It might just be the EGR. Um, you know, cause that thing pops up every now and then because of the, uh, the correction that we had made to it. So, let's see if that's what it is. Um, all right, yeah. PO 407, the PO 488, EGR. I'm just gonna end up uh, erasing these codes. Erase codes. Are you sure you want to do a diagnosis erase? Yes. Yeah. Done disappeared. We'll wait to see if that ends up coming back or not. So I've had a lot of people ask me here about the stupid duty and whether they could build it like what all went into the truck and whatnot so I've got to go pick up a couple things so I figured hey let's get on the road and I'll tell you a little bit about it what you got to do if you want to make your own and the pros and cons and what I do and don't like about it all right so number one annoying thing is I have to use a GPS speedometer my, my speedometer is like 20 20 plus miles per hour off you dude it's just it's bad I downloaded this app free off of Amazon it has a commercial come up every now and then but it ain't bad you know I end up using it and just record my speed I usually have it mounted up where the GoPro is mounted right now but you know then I can see what speed I am all right turning radius turning radius is greatly reduced you should uh, hear here in a second if I turn super hard here there we go. I'm now just barely touching. I don't know if you can hear that chunking. I'm now just barely touching. So right there, I was just barely rubbing up or rubbing up against the front shackles on uh, the leaf springs there. And it's a problem that I'm gonna have to deal with no matter what, unless I end up four linking the truck. There's just no getting away from it. I mean, I can get maybe just a little bit more there. I could weld in like a piece of metal that'd be like a sliding piece of metal and just accept that you know I'm gonna just rub on that or I could four link it I mean the benefits of four link would be awesome but the cost is there unless I end up getting you know the system off of a wreck truck and the lift off of a truck so get on it here the rough country lift on uh black friday and it was 1300 bucks man and i didn't even know that the rough country is having black friday deals it was just dumb luck usually the lift goes for 1500 bucks for this year from 1999 to 2004 super duties for an eight inch and i got free shipping with that as well the tires i got won the auction on the tires from Gov Planet for I think $1,505 for a set of eight brand new wheels and tires. And they're 53 by 16 by 20. So they are DOT rated. I mean, they're legit tired and everything like that. They uh, were brand new. They were mounted on the wheels, but never mounted on a truck. And yeah, all in all costs with me, auction fees, and then having to go down to California pick them up, my fuel costs and everything like that and what we did. I want to say like probably about 2200 bucks into the tires, which is not bad at all. It's actually pretty respectful for eight brand new 53 inch tires, dude. 
they, there's a lot of you that probably spend way more than that for freaking four freaking 40s. So I ended up finding some used 20 by 14. They're just a fuel like Maverick. Uh, I'll throw up what the design is and everything like that. But I picked up the wheels. Now they have little scuffs and everything like that, but 800 bucks for the wheels. I had to then get uh, wheel spacers as well. And I went up or ended up going with some three inch wheel spacers. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, dude, you are mad for running wheel spacers on your truck and everything like that. But I, I knew that I was gonna have to. So three inch wheel spacers, that was, I think they were $300 off of Amazon, okay? And I check them all the time, make sure nothing's coming loose. There ain't no hairline fracture in them. They're actually pretty good spacers. I'm pretty happy with them so far and everything like that. I have not had any problem with it. And we've driven this everywhere wheeled it, all that kind of stuff. No problems with my wheel spacers, okay? Next thing everyone's gonna be commenting and saying about the truck is, oh bro, your freaking ball joints are gonna wear your ball joints all out. And your hubs, your hubs are gonna be worn out. Those front axles, blah, blah, blah. Your axles gonna be all worn out. Look, dude, they, this ain't my first rodeo. I know how a wheeled truck, like a lifted truck and big tires work, okay? It, it's just, you assume that freaking problem, okay? Just chill the hell out about that i put brand new ball joints on the truck right when we did the freaking lift and put the tires on they're a higher end ball joint got them out of napa they're they're a freaking top of the line ball joint i'll pull up the freaking nomenclature for them and everything like that they're holding up and they're tight as hell still so on to the steering we ended up having a pretty bad problem with the steering with these tires it just overloaded the stock power steering box that was in it for the power steering pump and with this being a hydro boost system and everything like that, your power steering goes out, you lose your brakes on the truck too, or your power brakes on the truck as well, all right? So it's just like, initially when I put the whole truck together and everything like that, I get up to about 60 on the road, and there was so much feedback from the tires just pushing back and forth a little bit that it was just, I couldn't drive it over 60 set, or safely. It was just, it was kind of sketch at that point. And it was just, you know, we were out wheeling, wheeling up with the guys and everything like that one time and the power steering just totally shit the bed dude couldn't do anything with it it was all freaking hand grunting steering and everything like that it was bad it was real bad so we ended up hitting a hydro assist on the front of the truck uh, i got that out from this boys of texas and everything like that i believe the guy's name is big john and it's not a bad setup it's kind of a generic you know hydro assist system and everything like that it cost me like 750 bucks so steering now i can take it on the freeway go up to like i've had the fastest i've had it so far is about 78 and steering's been fine the system's loosened up a little bit since i've had it and everything like that and i think that's the like seals in the hydraulic ram that's down there going out i just i need to after running it as much as i have and everything like that this ram is it's under rammed or it's just underpowered it's not a big enough ramp to handle these tires and this amount of feedback that I get so I'm gonna have to either rebuild the ram multiple times but if I've only had it on there for like two two and a half months so I'm gonna have to either rebuild this ram multiple times or I'm just gonna need to get a bigger one which is that's what I'm gonna do and put it in its place so yeah. so at the same time I had to take my power steering gearbox off of the truck that I got from Redhead because it was not tapped for a hydraulic assist, all right? So I called up Redhead, I was like, hey, this is what I need. They're like, hey, no problem. Just send us your old one. You haven't heard of that, had it that long. We'll send you another one back. All you gotta do is pay shipping, pay for the tap cost, and then you're good to go. So I was like, all right, sweet, dude. I think it was like 150 bucks more for them to tap it, and then my shipping on top of that, so. So is this build obtainable? Can you totally do this? Yes, you can totally do this build and have fun with it. You'll go out and have a blast. I would recommend if I was to do it again, I'd probably go maybe for about 10 inches to 12 inches of lift, just so I didn't have to do trim. I would love to buy a truck that is freaking not, or a wrecked truck and do no lift at all and throw these wheels and tires on it. I would like to be able to, you know, I can just cut the cab out as much as I want I would love to be able to do that, but it's not gonna be. But anyways, for your truck, if you've got a Super Duty, or you can even do this with a Dodge, all right? A 3500 or a 2500, you can totally do this. You don't have to have a diesel, you can have a gas powered truck. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this probably with a 
Toyota or, a, or with a Chevy or a GMC, all right? Um, the IFS in the front, I, I'm really skeptical whether it would hold up to the kind of abuse I've done so far on it. Like, if you're just doing a street princess, yeah, you could probably get away with it. Um, if you're gonna go out and wield it, these tires are gonna freaking destroy those tie rods. They're freaking, your CV joints, I mean, all that, they're gonna just freaking, yeah, eat it up. I don't know if I would go that route at all. All right, so currently, could you guys build this truck? Yes. Uh, I'm thinking it cost you probably right around under 10 grand to do it in my current configuration. Well, that's probably what I'm into it and I had to buy a new transmission. So maybe, maybe a little bit less. I mean, you could probably be into this build for like somewhere between seven grand, okay? Uh, but you're gonna run into issues and you're gonna have to work those out and everything like that. And if you baby it and make it a street princess, you won't run into any of the issues and stuff like that. You'll be okay. Anyways, that's the video today. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I, all our new people that are signing up to the YouTube, for all our new subscribers, man, I appreciate the hell of you. I mean, you're motivating the hell of me. All the comments, I like it a bunch, guys. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon.